Hello everyone, welcome to the series Automating the Boring Stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In today's video, we will be looking at how to export worksheet. So, worksheet can be of two categories, can be an image or a tabular format. Tabular format can again be exported as a text file or even an excel file. So, where do we see worksheet? So, let's say I click on connection. Now, you will notice that I am getting a worksheet pin and if you click on generate, you will see something tabular format worksheet being generated and this is also a way to confirm whether the particular object model object has worksheet or not you can see this worksheet tab geometry and worksheet let's go to contact and see yes contact also has a worksheet let's go to contact tool it also has a worksheet so couple of places like contact group environment probe result result chart result table so if we go to result let's see if uh, there is any worksheet or not uh, i think it's not showing anything and then if you go to solution information yes worksheet is there but this is not a tabular format but an, but an image so we will also see how to export these images and if we can see something else solver output so here you see this is a worksheet but as a text file and what else we have uh, force convergence that's, that mo we mostly use let's go to solution statistics uh, it is also a worksheet but it looks like more tabular or image we will see whether this is an image or a tabular format right once you go to solution information there is no worksheet if you go to force you see a graph and tabular data which we have already seen in our previous videos but worksheet is disabled so no let's go to uh, analysis setting and see yes worksheet is there so we will export this so let's start with uh, contact group which is of uh, okay so before i begin how to export let's see how to enable a worksheet in our script so i will just expand this pane and open something which is okay this one works perfectly fine so we have this worksheet pane which is enabled so if you click it turns off then turns off so we have this uh, javascript uh, which says uh, ds which is our design space dot script and toggle workspace visibility so if it is off it will turn on if it is on then it will turn off so if i just execute it you will see it was on then it turned off on off on off but I want to turn on only when it is uh, turned off. So for that reason, I have a script which says if it is inactive, then only enable it or else do nothing. So if I execute this, you see right now worksheet is disabled, right? It's turned off. So if I execute it, it will turn it on. But when I execute again, you will see it's not changing anything because it is already on. So this is something very useful. This was about uh, toggling the visibility of worksheet. Now let's come to exporting. Now, uh, as I mentioned, the tabular format can be exported in two format. One is a te text file, and the other one is a Excel file. So let me show you first for a text file. So here, I'll just walk you through this script. So again, this is a JavaScript, and he here we call ds dot script, and we export the worksheet. So here we have an export option, I believe. Uh, maybe here. Uh, let's see export to microsoft excel once you click that maybe you will get to format i am not sure uh, maybe some other place to export but never mind we are just looking at uh, the scripting part so we have this uh, ex do export worksheet to text file and from here we will give the path so let me open this test folder and delete everything all right and then if i uh, export it as a text file worksheet result.txt and if i execute you will see that uh, okay so this is some error it's, it was not going oh okay so i forgot to close this actually okay so now this is correct let's run it yeah it's run fine and then i have this text file once i open it you will see that it has exported the same thing name bonded contact name bonded contact so instead of that let me export into excel file for excel file just change the format to xls that's it it does not format the excel sx it just supports xls because this is a old version right so once i execute it it ran successfully let me open this uh, excel sheet and it has opened do you want to open it anyway yes okay so this works absolutely fine now now uh, next is how to okay so before i do let me check something else here also we had this worksheet right 
so let, let's export this also as excel file so instead of worksheet result i will just type analysis setting uh, and dot excel yes, yes once execute it ran fine let's see what it has exported analysis setting okay so this is also perfectly fine so this is also working now uh, let's try let's try the solution whether this is an excel file uh, tabular file or not let's let me execute it okay it ran fine it replaced the same analysis setting let's see if it has exported something okay this has exported the same thing let me write into a new name activate analysis it's not analysis setting it's solution info and if i execute it now and let's see what it has okay so okay so solution info is not working for this maybe this is not a tabular format maybe an image we will check that later let's go to uh, analysis setting we have already checked it is working fine and here solution information you remember we will see solver output this might look like an we can we might able to export into excel file or a text file let's see we will call it solution info and then let's call it text file txt and let me run it and see what it generates okay it ran successfully but i don't see it exported so this is not working and yeah this was all about a tabular format or a, sorry a, a text format let's go to some images and see what it can generate so for image the best thing is the force convergence which we most of the people use so here for this one what i will do is i will use the same javascript approach and this is a workaround that i developed because i was not able to find some straightforward approach so i went inside uh, the dll file and uh, got this so here i call something called as worksheet tab browser from there i pass a file name let's say i will call it as force convergence okay and jpeg file so here we have to write this graph to a file so this is not basically an exporting a worksheet tab so here you might there is no right click okay so here you might see that i am calling i am uh, actually getting this worksheet tab browser but i am using a uh, graph file to export it because this is the only option that i found maybe from here i can use image from image to file so this, that's the same thing i'm using first i'm passing a file name and format so i have commented uh, commented it out which are like zero which is a png one is jpeg and three is bmp and then i will call that javascript string so once i execute it so here i'm calling it force convergence when i execute it you will notice that i have this force convergence which is this uh, convergence and as, uh, previously in our last two videos we have already seen how to take screenshot so i will just put that script in my repo github repo i will walk you through that once is the same thing so here instead of uh, calling a graph uh, graph or tabular for, uh, pane we are calling worksheet and then we pass the width height location x and y and then we export it to some image so this was all about exporting a worksheet we have already covered tabular data and graphics pane in our previous video one last thing that i wanted to cover in this video is going through my github repo so this is my website for ansys scripting amrit hub automate the boring stuff in ansys mechanical here i upload all the videos in one page you can just click, uh, click on it directly and it will open the youtube page uh, i have to upload few things which i have not done so i have to upload from video number 27 and here i have added some helper uh, string document which you can refer and once you click on the view on github so what it does is it opens the repo here i i upload all my scripts whichever i share it in youtube or in this video so last video is still the graphics pane so i will upload the tabular pane and today's video which is the worksheet pane um, i hope you like this video please hit a thumbs up and wish you all a great and happy new year 2025 thank you